All right, so good afternoon and welcome back to Focus on Liberia Television Live. Coming to you live and direct from the chambers of the House of Representatives here in Monrovia, Liberia, up Capitol Hill. That's how this place is called. Today is uh, Tuesday, is the 7th of February, and it is the regular session of uh, the Liberian Legislature. Of course, as you may be aware, we have a bicameral legislature where the Senate and the House sit on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Thursdays, Tuesdays session. And of course, we witnessed the appearance of the chairperson of the National Elections Commission. She, uh, she just she was just discharged. She's gone. Another appearance uh, will be on the, the, the appearance of the Director General of the National Rule Fund. Along with uh, the president and members of the Petroleum Importers Association, uh, to answer questions relating to the rule fund, its implementation, and how well uh, that money is forthcoming. I should be aware the Salif government uh, passed uh, an act establishing the National Rule Fund intended to raise money from, from petroleum importers and, and, and dealers and also users uh, to be kept for road development, uh, mainly for the road development in the country. Of course, that money has been kept in the government as an account and then it's been managed by the National Road Fund. And so we will be following uh, what would they be saying and what are the concern from the legislature, from, from a member of the legislature, and then of course the public can view uh, what's going on through our various platforms so that you can be informed as to what's happening. So keep tuned, keep following us. My name is Prince Moba. We are awaiting the arrivals of others are invited. We're not seeing the, the director general of the, uh, the, the National Rule Fund yet. We're not seeing his arrival. We, we're seeing people from the Petroleum Importers Association have already arrived. But members of the House uh, having various different con con consultation, uh, I mean, discussion ahead of the, uh, the arrivals of those uh, invited. Uh, so keep following me. This is Focus on uh, Liberia. This is Prince Moba. Of course, here for from my family, Focus on the grass world, uh, doing year seven to dual capacity to bring you everything like on this platform. <laughs> Please, uh, please have uh, your seats so that we can see for uh, all our listeners. Thank you.
communication was sent out to all importers of the petroleum products in this country. Ten, ten. Number two, I hear they received a communication from comments asking for postponement of the meeting with us. Okay, they say I have no information. So, even the Director General of the National Rural Fund, do you have any uh, information that uh, that prevents you from coming? No, sir. Uh, can you tell me when uh, it was sent and who signed for that communication? The communication to the National Fund, National Rural Fund General, Director General was, was received by one Kenesha M. Taylor on the 7th of February at 10 or 3 a.m. Thank you. What's of LRA? Communication to LRA Commissioner General was received by one Margaret M. Brooks on the 7th of February at 9.17 a.m. What is the board? Yeah, the information. Yes, for the invitation. We start at the office to, to meet the budget committee and ask us why it was sent for. So we told him that uh, I explained. But then he said, but well, you guys asked me yesterday, and I already told you that uh, the people are... Order, 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 order
Association in for the president. Any any word from that institution? The president? Thank you very much. So that said, that said, that said, uh, we would like to, we would like to, my son. We have two compliant uh, invitees. Uh, we have one that has sent an excuse. We have uh, even the director general with my excuse not present. Colleagues, uh, this is the situation. What do you advise? The, the right honorable gentleman. CD, CD by sure. Honorable Speaker, distinguished colleague, with such privilege, asking me to advise the Honorable Speaker and my colleague is an honorable privilege. But Honorable Speaker, I will, I will of course want to say to you, could you please defer or postpone this meeting, considering the length uh, the number of people that should be here and are not here. So, will you please use the wisdom with my own advisement that uh, we have a problem in the next two turns, I think so. So, Thursday. So, that's my advice, people. No, no. I speak up, brother. Listen, but, colleagues, uh, our friends have got, uh, got our invitees got in uh, I mean, adequate period to appear. Uh, the second to the seventh are five days. Uh, so this is something that should be happening. Uh, they should be here. So, 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 yes, the, the, the environment is good. Uh, how can we allow them uh, to be here this time of I notice me? Have we had that with us? Yes, I don't know the other Our responsibility, one of our cardinal responsibilities as this honorable house of representatives is oversight. And the only way we exercise that oversight is accept true coordination. In the spirit of coordination, we humbly invite our colleagues from the other side of the other two branches to appear so that we understand what we have obtained, what we have gone wrong, how can we proceed, what's the way forward. For them, on their part, to deliberately determine that they cannot honor our invitation without the least regard to this honorable body to have given a written excuse for not being here today. I would want to, if, if, if I should make a motion, then the motion would be that we have them reappear towards the end. Excuse me, Lord, you have... I will have them reappear on Thursday. You have to follow the instruction by the IPSAC. So whatever it is, the instruction given should be by this instruction. Yeah, you can. Now, we have them reappear for this subject matter discussion on Thursday this week. But we begin that session with an attempt on their part to tell us why they should not be held in contempt. Oh, no contempt. Okay. Is that a 
time. I wish China would come along with the Anthony General of Liberia to tell this boy why this cannot be care on a question for those who did not come. And those who came will be going as well. I come along with this appearance of following me. And also, those who know the workings of this, we believe in the others that surpluses do not deviate. If you even give information to people before and you are called again, and it's best that you come. The highest decision making body is the plenary. That's it. I want to thank all of you uh, for your cooperation. And uh, know that uh, by Thursday, uh, you will be uh, invited. So may this go to your various institutions that Thursday will be meeting this Honorable House of Representatives. That said, you are respectful to this chat. Thank you so much. So that's it. Thanks for following. Yeah. You will get uh, communication. But uh, get in mind that uh, make it uh, uh, maybe. So thanks for following me. Thanks for watching. This is how we tell you of you. <laughs> uh, the session is here by the join by the presiding Chimos, Speaker Bapa Chimos. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I hope that I'll be another blue day.